Anthony Ferraro and Mancina, two blind guys, collide to bring you Four Bad Eyes Podcast. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> bring us in, baby. <laughs> bring Welcome in the, back. Bring We're in the clown. Live. Bring in the clown. Live from somewhere. Live from Appleton, Wisconsin. Whoa, I wish. That'd be cool. Appletown, Wisconsin. Appleton. Appletown. Oh, is it? Appleton? No, I don't know. I Appleton. don't know. Apple. A tin. I haven't heard of that city, actually. Tin of apples. Appleton. We're known for our apples here in Michigan. Michigan apples? Really? Apples and cherries. With, ch- I love cherries. Love a good cherry. Mm. Antioxidant cherries. <sighs> Wild cherries. Popping cherries. You know what I mean? <laughs> Get a uh, cherry picker, picking cherries, cherry pickers, cherry, um, cherry blossoms, cherry blossoms, cherry. What's che- the uh, um, cherry cough get? drops? Where Shirley the- Temple. Oh, love a Shirley. I went to the bar the other night. Virgin. I didn't even get a drink. I I was like, you know what? I'm going for it. I'm get I'm wild. I'm getting a Shirley Temple. <laughs> I said I said extra cherries. Cal can look at those sometimes. Mm. Oh, love good. a Shirley Temple. I love a good Shirley. Shirley, you must be joking. Well, here we go, dude. Yeah, to get on into it. What do you got? I uh, we missed it. I got a whole bag of sick. And, we uh, missed a week there. Sorry. Yes. Sorry, eyes and All ears. All my, uh, our eyes and ears out there. I was uh, on my, on my deathbed. Yeah. Just trying to freaking get through to the other side. Break on through to the other side. Break on through. And uh, I made it about 85% there. And uh, I was, I'll tell you, I was hurting. I was like. The flu. I, I woke up that morning. Didn't, you know, it wasn't too bad. I was, but I had something like up in the nose, but not deep. Not, it wasn't coming out yet. It was up there. Deep in like, there, yeah, deep in there, and I deep in the ca- I cavernous like, cave. I was like, nose. Ah, I don't feel so well. And I was like, you know, I'm just gonna take it easy. I'm gonna lay down, rest. Woke up, freezing cold. Like I ah, felt like chills, I was in the Arctic. The shivers. I was in the Arctic. I was like, give me all the blankets. I took every single blanket we own and and wrapped myself up like a mummy burrito. That's the worst because uh, the second you get a shoulder or even just a fingertip, a toe hanging out, you just whoa. <laughs> And it was so cold to the point where when I took a bath, I didn't want to have to get out. You couldn't leave. Yeah, like you can't do it. And I, yeah. I'm in so much pain. I felt like someone took a baseball bat to me. And just it was, ra- uh, rippled your body with a just, baseball just, bat. Yeah, just I was a bad boy. Oh and, uh, man. So yeah, I'm getting over that. I had just a. A bedridden weekend. Well, geez, I had a lot. I've been. I was in Florida. I was chilling. I was having a great time. Lee, you're dying. <laughs> what happened? Um, where do we start, dude? I had the. Uh, um, what did I do? What did I do? The snow jog. I did the snow jog. The snow jog. The snow jog in Kalamazoo, Michigan. The hell is so? This? It's a. Uh, there's no it's snow. Suppo- it's it's like a run slash scavenger hunt. It's not really a run though. So there's a uh, a section in the city that is, um, what do they call it? Social, not social distancing. Social, social um, norms. It's like a social <laughs> <laughs> social studies. It's like a social um, ah district. They call it a social district. So, which means you can bring your alcoholic drink and walk on the streets with it. All right. All which right. normally is not, you know, most states in the U.S. you're not allowed to That's drink pretty, on the streets. Yeah. So, like, there's a little you know, string string of bars that are a couple miles from each other. And uh, you went bar to bar, and you would have to complete a challenge at each bar. And then they would stamp your little sheet you had, and you, have to, you had to get like five out of the eight bars. And at the end, you were entered into a raffle to win like some bull crap, like gift card or something like that. And then they that? also had a Halloween, not a Halloween, just a costume 
um, uh, what do they call that? Carnival contest. Jeez, my brain is not working today. How how did they have a costume contest? It's like December. It's January. Yeah, so the people just dress up. So there was like um, there was these people who are all dressed as different animals. They were like cheetah print kind of deal. Then there was a a crew that was uh, Back to the Future. So they had like Marty freaking McFly and uh, <laughs> Marty uh, Gras. What's the the bully's name? I don't even know. I don't. I've never seen Back to the Future. McFly. What? Yeah. What? It's a um, um, American icon, no, dude. No. Iconic vid- Back movie. To of- the fu- What's it even about? Back to the Future, dude. <laughs> Going back to the future. Wouldn't that be one the of past? the greatest titles of all time? If you're going but, back, um, though. So they had the characters from that, and then they had who, who and then uh, Forrest Gump. So they had Forrest while he was in his running phase. They had Forrest in his Vietnam phase, and uh, like Jenny from there, and there was it was pretty cool. So that we did not partake in because I'm not gonna dress up unless it's Halloween. But it was cool. But uh, so you had to do each challenge, but the challenges were kind of lame. So like first bar was like headbands. You know what that game is? It, it, there's a word on your phone. You hold up to your forehead, and you have to you have to act it out for somebody. What? It's like it's like um, charades or whatever. You know? You gotta oh, act out uh, yeah. How do you we play that? Whisper. Someone's got to whisper it. <laughs> yeah, someone whispers, whispers yeah. it to me. <clears throat> um, and it's just you're with a two person team. So it was me and my stepdad, and then Heather was just the third wheel. She was on her own team. But it ends up just you just you know, we weren't really we were just going and getting some drinks bar to bar. And it was cool. Um what else happened? What fun happened there, dude? I walked in on somebody on the bath in the bathroom, which is always interesting. And I realized if you're gonna get walked in on by somebody, what better <laughs> person than a blind person, right? Wait, you opened the door and someone was in there? Mm-hmm. Was it where you were staying or at a bar? At one of the bars. Oh, well, it's fucking their fault, not locking the door. It's pretty funny. Yeah, I didn't lock the door, but I was just, I had the thought of, yeah, if you're going to get walked in on, it's it's best to be a blind cuz he was very disarmed after he saw I was blind. He's like, "Oh, oh, my bad. I'll I'll be I'm I'm done. You go ahead." <laughs> he wasn't in there with a lady. <laughs> but there's really no harm, no foul if you're blind, you know what I mean? Walking on somebody, it's like not like you're seen anything but yeah. I thought that was funny Unfortunately. and um, they're all old bars you know super old school buildings old wood like all the paper towels smell like mildewy building you know what I mean oh um, it all smells like New Orleans New Orleans smells like that just does it just like every just below sea level oh dude. it's just every a uh, house and Store and restaurant has that damp, it's been moldy. flooded. Yeah, yeah, everything's the been flood. flooded. A co- yeah, time and time again. Yeah, so it's yeah that smells. It it makes me not want to eat at certain places, even though the food's <laughs> yeah. good. I'm like, oh, I don't know. It doesn't seem so clean. Yeah, jeez. And then I saw one of these. They don't have these very much anymore. The urinal that goes all the way to, to the, the floor. floor. Oh, I hate those. That's a nice I, urinal. I dude. hate that urinal. I always piss on my feet or something. You can't miss, dude. Yeah, you, you can't can miss. Because what I end up doing is I don't point down all the way, and I end up like getting the backfire like halfway down on my legs. Yeah, well, if you're wearing shorts or sandals, you're you're feeling the spray. Even in a regular urinal, you're oh, always getting so sprayed on. It's so gross. It's gross. So I think about that all the time. Even with your pants on, you're getting sprayed urine spray on them. So wash your fa- pants, folks. You're in for it. But I love a urinal right to the floor, dude. Flush right. Oh, it's nice. I I am not a fan of those. I mean, that's better than like. <laughs> Here's the. I get this. I, when I walk in a bathroom, I'm shorelining to find the urinals, you know? So, shoreline my way so majority you. of the time, I hit the first urinal in the line of urinals, which is usually the kid's urinal, which is way low. Are you doing that too? The ki- 
Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, the first the one. The, there's the one a that's kid like, that's low. It's either one or two of them. That's, see, I feel like you don't see those that much anymore, though. There, no, every every bathroom they have has, to. Well, okay. well, I guess not everyone, but most of them have one small one, and then the rest are tall, taller. So I hate the kids one. It's like you got to reach down to touch this thing. Yeah. Ugh. I there's. But I'm always hitting the kids' the urinal though, because like the first are one in the room. Hard because they're always a different layout. Everywhere you go, you know. Oh what yeah, I mean? it's uh, you just gotta. Start. I've gotten lost looking for stuff before. Yeah, you gotta just start prodding around. You yeah. know, you get lost in the bathroom. And Some then you hear the one like, like guy taking a piss in the urinal, just probably watching you. Yeah, like just try and figure it out. I've been saved in like airport bathrooms where it's like just madness. Yeah, the guy'll just madness. grab you and be like, "Yo, over here. right over here." Yeah. I had a guy grab my arm though, piss me right off on the elevator. Uh, Ooh. two days ago like i go in and like he comes in i'm searching for braille he's like which, which floor are you looking for i'm like two i got it i got it he's like what are you looking for? and i hit the button like, i got it he's like oh, okay <laughs> and then we go up one floor bing and i know it's my floor and i go to get off and he grabs my arm to like take me to the door and i like pull my arm away like whoa dude come on he's like oh sorry 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 Dude, I had... But it pissed me right... It's like, really, dude? You think I don't know him? Fucking the door's open? I'm like, come on, uh, man. And then... Uh, I love the help. I love when people will, will help in the right moment. I know. It's a double-edged sword. But it is, because it's uh, like, are you gonna hate on the help and then just be a stubborn person that never asks yeah. for help, and then you screw yourself? But yeah, there's th- a th- balance. There is a balance. But the other thing is, like... I had this happen to me the other day where I was going to get coffee, uh, like hot chocolate, coffee, whatever. I was going in there, got my hot chocolate, I got a pretzel, and I got Kelly hot chocolate too. <laughs> and then I, I I pay for it. There's two other people that get there. I got my cane. It's like a freaking crisis. It's like every, It's like a... Dude, everyone's grabbing me like, yeah, oh no, yeah. let me let me carry these to the door for you and then get the door for you. Uh, and then another person, I'm like, no, I'm good, I'm good, everyone. Like, geez. well, imagine we being sounding the alarm. Imagine being a sighted person and you're go to leave and someone gra- someone a complete stranger grabs your arm. <laughs> like, what are you doing? What? No, you don't just touch somebody. I used to do that when I was a kid, thinking people were my mom. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Yeah, that's funny. It's okay as a little kid. That's just cute. <laughs> I know. It's but so if I were to go touch somebody's arm and like, let me take you over here, they would instantly be like, "Whoa, dude, what are you doing?" <laughs> yeah, you can't just be grabbing people. You gotta ask, dude. Yeah, man. I was like, it was literally like the freaking sounded off the fire alarm. <laughs> Everyone like, was trying. Yeah. Like it was, it was wild. I know, because then you feel. I mean, yeah, I feel like I felt like a dick afterwards when I was like, "Come on, man!" I just pulled my arm. He's like, "Sorry, sorry." I was like, <sighs> just like shook my head in disappointment, <laughs> and he's like, "Sorry, sorry." But I was like, "Dude, you can't just grab somebody." Yeah, the grabbing is this aggressive. Culture. We're not in Italy where you're going arm in arm with everyone. Yeah, most some cultures might, you know, China, Japan, where it's like people are touching each other, you're up on each other. Not in America. We like our space. Yeah, unless you go, it depends where you're uh, I don't know. But that was, uh, but that, what was I talking about? Yeah, that was the jog, the snow jog. It was cool. By four o'clock, though, I was over it. Uh, did you run? Uh, I jogged maybe one. Not, no, no, not really. <laughs> I wasn't running. It was we were just going there to my stepdad signed me up. It was just something for us to do. Oh, that's you were with good old Brian. Yeah, Big B. Big B. So we had fun. Kalamazoo is a cool city. That's where I did my Kalamazoo. Isn't that where uh, my grad school and stuff? Is that where Derek Jeter's from? I believe he is. Yep. Yeah. That's correct. Nice, Yay! dude. <laughs> I've there said this before, but Kalamazoo has a scholarship program. If you're born in Kalamazoo and go through oh, yeah. school, you get free college. They pay for it. That's... And people suspect that it may be because uh, it's a it's an anonymous donor. Are they just die to have people move there? I guess. Yeah. It's a dope city, but you know a lot of uh, That's a comedians f- go through. There's a couple of theaters there <laughs> comedians go to. Um, I think it's the second, is that or Grand Rapids? One of those two is the second biggest city in uh, Michigan besides Detroit. Yeah. 
I feel like it's got to be Grand Rapids, not Calhoun. But I don't know, whatever. No one cares. Um, but a fun event. But four o'clock, I'm over. I don't like day drinking, dude. I just, I was. Ugh. By four, I'm like, get me. I'm done. Yeah, I can't day drink. My stomach will just start turning. Yeah. You ever get this feeling where you're drinking, yeah. and it's like not the time to be drinking, especially for your body, and. You get like a feeling it like weighs you down and you get this like I get a pain in my stomach and then it like goes to the it's just a weird feeling all through my I can't I can't do it. Can't drink. <laughs> you're not a you're not a big drinker. Yeah, no, well, but I, I yeah, enjoy alcohol my like glass really of- affects everybody differently, you know what I mean? Like some people can just can like my sister in law can drink she go day in, day out. You know what I mean? Like, I can't drink like, but I, I can't, can't do it. I and I can't drink light beers, like light Bud Lights and stuff like that. Like no, they, no, they just give me stomach aches, bad. Ah, uh, yeah, and no, uh, not good. No, and I, I like a glass of like whatever here and there, but like, I mean, I love it, but yeah. it's not good. Yeah. Not in moderation. Tax the body. But, um, yeah, and the day drinking, I get that feeling where I just. After a few hours, I'm like, all right, what? I'm done. I'm like, my day feels more wasted. Yeah. Wasted getting wasted. Wasted away. But it was cool. And then you got to go to the Crow's Nest is the uh, really popular breakfast spot in the morning. It's like upstairs in the dope breakfast spot. Here in Kalamazoo, hit it up. There's a little coffee shop downstairs. Get your latte, wait in line. I'm gonna get the uh, the bomb breakfast. Good old latte. It was, it. The old, it was nice being back in the old stomping grounds, though, from grad school. Kalamazoo. Did, did you know the spots? Nice you city. Were, you're like, yeah, oh, I knew all the spots. Oh, all the spots. I went to the, all the old bars, the, my favorite bars. I love Louise's. returning to places. I do. It's I do. great. It's a great feeling. Like anywhere you travel. When you go back to somewhere and you had a good yeah, experience comfort. there or like some memory and you go back to even like as specific as a restaurant or a cafe, you know, and it's like comforting. Oh. Yeah. I, yeah, it's nice. Sometimes I'll, I'll be traveling and like we've done it. Like we'll find a spot and hit that spot like five times. because uh-huh. It's so good. And we're like, why? Why? You know, I don't know. Yep. Oh, and here we go, dude. I had to. So we stayed at the hotel that night. We stayed the night in Kalamazoo. It's like two hours from where I live. And, uh, excuse me, gross. <coughs> dude, I'm boogery right now. I'm real boogery. I think I might be getting your flu. Um, hotel, Kalamazoo, wake up in the morning. Everyone's still sleeping. I'm up at like, I'm mean, getting up early. So I'm up at like 5 30, waiting for people to get up. Jeez. Six comes around. I'm itching to get breakfast. I'm bug- I'm bothering Heather. My s- Brian, my stepdad's snoring next to us. I'm like, Heather, get up, wake up, wake up, wake up. She's like, no, I'll give me half more, half 30 more minutes. And I was like, all right, I'm going to go down for breakfast and meet me down there. I'm doing the solo trip downstairs in the hotel. The solo. <laughs> I had to send it, dude. I had to send it. Oh, in, for wait. I was thinking about your trip. This is in Kalamazoo. This is in Kalamazoo at the hotel. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, because you're down anxious there. and you just want to get down. You want to go. Well, I was very. I was, and I was anxious. You want to explore? <laughs> I want to explore, dude. I was like, come on, we're wasting the day here. I know. <laughs> so I'm like nervous though because when I came in the hotel, I wasn't expecting to do this, so I didn't map anything out. Oh. Like, I was like, which. I was like, I had to ask, even had to ask Heather, wait, do I go right out of the hotel room to the elevators? <laughs> so that's how little I was oh, you've been, shit Yeah, out. you were not paying attention. So I'm like, oh, I think I go right. So I, I'm like, <laughs> we're going, dude. I need it for the podcast story. Go down, right out of the door, left to the elevators, find my elevators. I'm on floor, I think, eight. So go down to main floor. Easy to find. Most lobbies are under, not number one, but it says main. You know what I mean? Yeah. It says main in Braille. In yeah. Contracted Braille, actually. Yep. So M-A drop I for I-N. 
Good for job. all you Braille readers. Um, that's, that's, uh, hit my button. That's one. I'm solo. One five. No, three, three, five. Sorry. Let's go on. For what? I drop I to drop two I. Three, six. It's three five. Two six. No, but that would be E. That would be drop E. Oh right, yeah. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah three yeah. five, three five. Yeah, You're that's right. Three five. Three, five. You got a braille writer. It's that's three five. Yeah, yeah. Um, bam! Elevator opens, and I'm thinking, like, I'm thinking, I'm not, I think I go right. My my goal was to go to the front desk and ask for help and assistance in going for the buffet. You know what I mean? So I go right, and I'm like, I know the lobby's somewhere around here, but right off the elevator, I hear like the news on the TV. Which means that's probably the little breakfast area, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, I hate so I'm like, all right, I'm, the news I'm going in there. I'm just going to go for it. It's really quiet in there. I hear like one lady and like a couple little kids. Super open. It's not like in a room. It's just like it's not in a separate um, room. It's like yeah, it's, it's just all a part of the lobby. Of the lo- it's a section of the lobby. Right? Yeah, it's like yeah. open air kind of deal. Yeah. So I'm cruising around, I'm bumping into tables, hitting chairs, walking into bars. trying to find myself a wall, and then bam, I get the lady. Hi, do you need any help? I'm like, yeah, I'm just looking for a little bite to eat. She's thinking my help. I was like, yeah, sure, please, thank you. And like, this is where you're you're kind of like, it feels weird because you don't want to overstep your, uh, you don't want to overstay your welcome or overuse your your help. You know what I mean? Uh, explain it to so, me. So I'm just, I'm just like, yeah, I'm just uh, looking. Just I guess what do we have here? What do I have? Like, oh, we have uh, some breakfast sandwiches pre-made. We have Ooh. some uh, cheese omelets. There's biscuits and gravy. What? There's uh, um, there's some like bars and stuff like that. I'm like, okay, in my head, I'm like, okay, I don't want to make this lady get me biscuits and gravy. But I definitely want biscuits and gravy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. a little much. I was like, I'll just, I'll just grab a, a breakfast sandwich. would be great. Okay, I got you. Uh, I hate when you do a cop out because you don't want to. No, 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 no. I wasn't feeling biscuits and gravy. Right, That's what okay, I want. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> just in my head, though, I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to make her her do biscuits and gravy. I'll may, maybe yeah, have yeah. it when she gets down later yeah. <laughs> if I'm still hungry. Get the sandwich. Kind of in my head, I'm mapping it out like somewhat, figuring out where stuff is a little bit, you know what I mean? She's like, you want like a muffin or like, no, it's good. Just this. Like, is there like any uh, juice? This little juice machine, which is not accessible. It's like the one machine with all the buttons on it. So I'm like, I had a little orange juice. So she pours me an orange juice. Oh, like, it has, very much. what do you, it has like, it's every it's juice. Like apple juice, orange yeah, juice, yeah, cranberry. Yeah. Yep. All that kind of deal. So she gets me a little juice. Which was annoying because I wanted to get more juice. But uh, I couldn't really couldn't figure that one out. You chug it so quick. Mm-hmm. And I find a just like first chair I could find right off of the buffet area there. Sit down, smash my sandwich. Her little kids are running around. They're like, yeah, we're just staying for the... She was just hanging out with the kids. Uh, like I think they got it for a Christmas present. The kids from their grandma like hang, mm-hmm. hang out at the hotel, go to the, the swimming pool, pool that yeah. kind of deal, you know. Like you guys swimming? Like yeah, your mom's like, yep, we swam for three hours yesterday. So that was cool. They were super nice. Little kids are funny. Ask me a million questions. Um, and of course, little kids. She's like, uh, they. What did the little kid? They always do this. Like whatever they're wearing, it's like they want to show it off. But I, I can't see. So she's like, oh, check out my, check out my, my. Uh, they're like pointing and showing you whatever thing they have or whatever, whether it's a toy. And Dude, <laughs> like, I well, always I can't I, see. I'm blind. I like, hate huh? feeling like the, I hate feeling like the awkward like it doesn't compute. The to them. awkward like, what old do you, mean you can't you, see it. Yeah, you yeah. feel like an awkward old person because they're like you can't interact with them the way they want to interact. So you're yeah, like, I do feel. It makes I feel hate old. that. It makes me feel weird, and I like ah, uh, it gets me going because I'm, and then I get sad because I'm like, oh, I just want to be that like fun guy that like yeah, all the yeah. kids love like you're like ah oh, yeah blah, blah, like looking at your stuff and like you know like i don't know but yeah just, it does make you feel like an old freaking man yeah dude. and you can't comment on what they're doing because you have no idea what they're doing yeah and then funny. you see other people doing what you wish you could do <laughs> but they were cool they helped me out so i got freaking 
hooked up right off the bat. Smooth sailing. Got my sandwich. Uh, they took off. They left. I even got up, grabbed another sandwich. Kind of had it mapped out. I had to feel around a little bit. Smashed one of those. And then um, texted Heather. Where you at? Come on down here. I'm bored. Blah, blah, blah. She came down. <laughs> you gave her like uh, an hour. I got guess. me a biscuit and gravy at that point. How were they? You no, know, it was full of nas, whatever. Uh... But it was smooth sailing, baby. I did it. Stepped out of my comfort zone a little bit. How did and, it um, feel? It was it a no was real it a, uh, no real snags or anything. It was it was smooth. was it a good uh, like was it exhilarating? Did you get a high from it? <laughs> a little bit. Did you it, like? It did you feel the everything success? Everything worked a little too good. It was like too easy this time because I had the lady in there right off the bat. Well, that's why I can't wait. We're going. It was nice. I'm planning your. I'm gonna plan us a uh, four three nights four days. Maybe two nights, three days of your bachelor party where we're going <laughs> to go right. somewhere. All and right. It's going to be a doozy. <laughs> we're going to like, we're going to have to go on all these adventures. It's going to be just great. all of this meeting yeah. together. Just ride. Yeah. Yeah. Just ride. It's, it's always better when you have a, a companion though, like a, oh, yeah. a partner in crime, like especially in the same boat, you know, <laughs> it's like, ah, uh, yep. You, you feed off. That's good. All right, I got one more, but hit me with something, dude. Ah, uh, dude, I got I got nothing for you, you except got nothing? Some green boogers and uh, what else? I got. I'm going to Italy in a in a week. Going Wait, to for, Italy uh, when in Rome for for a. Jeez, my phone's blowing up. For a uh, just thing, uh, no, judo? just for a getaway. Uh, we had. You're going to Italy. So listen, no, we had these. Why weren't you in Florida? Because I, I now could, you're going to Italy. Good thing I didn't go to Florida. I would have been bone to pick with you. I would have been puking all over you. No, there's a reason we're going. Um, but we're going because we had the tickets, and then uh, what's it called? We're uh, what? we're going oh, to it? Rome. We're gonna go to going to Rome. We're going. We're gonna go to Portugal for my tournament, and then go to Rome from there, and then should I'm I'm all. Brain damaged and uh, <laughs> I got brain damage. Um, so we're going to Rome and I'm gonna. I don't know. Just what Rome? Where you going anywhere else? And we might go to Capri. It's like in uh, Sicily. You take a little like ferry over. Um, maybe do the Amalfi Coast one day, but it's Ooh, winter. Amalfi Coast, baby. But it's winter, so everything's pretty like. Um, the Amalfi Coast and that stuff's pretty, pretty yeah, low. Not as a, it's pretty uh, dry right now, but it's still beautiful. But it's like yeah, a lot of isn't stuff. That one of the, is a that lot one of the stuff. seven wonders of the world there? I don't think so. Isle of Capri or something? Isn't that all that in that action? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Beautiful. Rock, I have a photo in my mother's. Rock, uh, Rock of Gibraltar. I have a photo of me and my brother on. Um, is it Isle of Capri or Amalfi Coast? What is right by uh, Rome there? That's that right the Amalfi that? Coast. Uh, Isle of Capri, you have to, it's still right. It's You could take a ferry from the Amalfi Coast, like over there, okay. to uh, Capri, which is in So much for Amalfi Coast. That's like the big, like, on the yeah, ocean or sea, yeah, whatever it is. It's like on the, the ocean, all the and, beaches and stuff. Yeah, it could have like also boulders been and stuff in there and like crazy. Yeah, crazy there's uh, like natural. Yeah, things. I remember that. That's dope. Yeah, you've been to Italy. Yeah, I went went to Florence, Rome, and Venice. Really? Do you remember it? Yeah, it was high school. It was dope. How'd you like Rome? Roma, Roma. It was cool, dude. It was freaking my my ancestry DNA blood, dude. My I know. Italian blood. That's was why oozing. I'm... Oh, the believe. pigeons in Rome are insane. They're like they're landing on my brother's head and stuff. I'm gonna have to sign my name and prick my finger, sign my name in yeah. blood on the uh, old coliseums. Yeah, we went to the uh, we we didn't go in the coliseum. I think we just kind of wait. Did we just drive just by do the maybe? Pantheon? Yeah. But we went in um, bunch of museums, and then we went in the 
the what is the big museum church Rome? Oh, uh, the, the basilica. <laughs> what the Vatican? Yes, the Vatican. Vatican. Did all that? Saw the Sistine Chapel. Oh wow! Um, See, I still would enjoy to be the around bridge of that. size. It's like where they walked the slaves when they were before they would die and torture them. Oh, they go like yeah, all the old torture chambers real, and stuff there. There's some yeah, real cool. like dark stuff there. Um, <sighs> what's it called? Would you if you've never seen the Sistine Chapel and you're blind, would you still have interest in being around it? Like going to be around it? Hard for me to say because I wasn't even that interested when I could see because I'm just not in to that kind of he stuff. He painted man. that. Just not into it. He painted that standing on a ladder, looking up for hours. Oh, his neck must have been hours, jacked. Jerry. His eyes paint when it's hours, his eyes. Days, months, yeah, mo- years, but, <laughs> Jerry. His his uh, the paint went in his eyes though, and he saw oh, yeah. he lost his a lot of vision. He's f- yeah, probably a lead. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it was lead. Was it lead based back then? I don't know. The heck is he? I mean, he was no. He would have turned. He would have. He would have been poison. impaired at yeah, that he point. Would have been, he would have <laughs> more than blind. Like yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, it, it is cool. It is dope. Like that ceiling is pretty remarkable. Um, yeah, I feel like it's just the, the energy there. It's just gotta be. I can't wait. I want to eat some pizza. Pizza with an egg on top. You gonna crack an egg on it, dude? Beware! Yeah. You just want to go go all pasta, dude. You want the pasta, pizzas, whatever. Yeah, pasta, every meal, and fish. You know what I mean? Just get the fish and the pasta. Oh my god! And the red wine. I don't need fish, Jerry. Smoke a cigarette, dude, and some red I wine. I know you want to smoke a yes. cigarette and drink the espresso, like have a yep. four-hour bronzo, like lunch dinner thing. Yeah, and then you uh, wake up and have a little. Freaking pastry oh, and a cigarette. Just wa- a cigarette. <laughs> just walk into the bakery, grab a freaking baguette. And- yes, oh, dude. Are baguettes French? Baguette uh, French? Yeah, it's more French. All right, well, uh, Italian Some kind loaf. of pastry. Italian <laughs> loaf. I remember I used to say I wanted to be a... One year, I was like, I'm going to be a Guido for Halloween. And I, I dressed up. <laughs> I, I had, like, the guinea tea, the, like... Uh, Spiked hair and stuff, and I carried around a loaf of Italian bread. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe baguette isn't baguette. I was thinking I croissant. Think baguette. A baguette sounds pretty. Uh, I just think all baking is French because no, like, no Italian. They got the oh the freaking uh, what are the cookies with the nuts? The pignoli nuts. Oh, <laughs> they're like they're like worth gold, dude. Yeah, then he. Oh, you're not going to Venice, huh? Venice? No. You're going to the canals of the gondos? The gondos? The gondoliers? Yeah, not going up there. Might, uh, we're, we're deciding whether to go to Capri or, uh, because we're going to go to Rome for like four days, I think, and then mm-hmm. go to either Capri or like Bologna. Oh, I should have farted on the mic. Did you or, hear that? Yeah, I did. Or Dang Bologna. It. Bologna? So, yeah, it's like the food capital of the country. Is that where Bologna comes from? Yeah. Is it? I don't know. Bologna. I don't know. Probably. It is spelled baloney. <laughs> no, dude, it maybe, is. It, maybe that's where it comes from. Maybe. Get some head cheese, dude. Mmm. I'd love to go to Capri and get like a caprese salad. You gotta get all the cheeses too, dude. Oh, get them pasteurized. Unpasteurized. Mm. Oh. And then uh, the mortadella. Ah, Kelly. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. The mortadella. Ugh. That's gonna be good, dude. That's gonna be some uh, epicness. You're gonna have to do some uh, cane exploring with that one. Oh, I know, I know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and go like babbity beeboo, like talking out to everyone. You know, like try and explore like my culture, <laughs> my roots. You ciao. know, it's ciao, gonna ciao, be, ciao. it's gonna be invigorating. Cause I be every good. time I go to Europe, like if, when I've been in Germany and stuff, people come up to me and just start speaking rapid Italian to me in other countries, and I'm like, what, yeah, what the. I, Ci sono abri verdi. That's all I remember. It means the pasta alla vajou. Pasta. <laughs> they um, eat uh, pizza with forks and knives over there, too. All I remember is the pizza. They crack the egg on it, dude. I don't want that pizza. What? Crack an egg, a raw egg on it. No, you don't need to eat that. 
That's what they do, I think. I think no, that's, like, that's like a certain one. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, don't do that one. It's gross. You want the pasta and the I don't and like fish. anything with an egg. I don't like the salad with the egg. I don't like the burger with the egg. Cobb like salad. Give me it. Freaking uh, burger with a ba- piece of bacon and egg. Give me it. Give me oh, it all, baby. Give ew. me an egg. Ugh. Give me an egg. What about a soft boiled egg? You ever have Hard one boiled? of those? Soft, soft boiled? boiled. Like a. They do it at like ramen places. Oh, yes, baby. I'll crack an egg right into the ramen. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Why Make it did, all why boogery and soupy. hard-boiled eggs? I've never tried a hard-boiled egg because I can't get past the smell. Oh, well, I, I mean... Does it taste like the smell? Some of them like smell, smell really bad, but most of them don't. No, they're like. intense. Does it taste like the smell? Only some of them do. No, it tastes like an egg. It tastes really? like an egg. Really? It doesn't taste like sulfur, no. Oh. Hey, dude, a hard-boiled egg is, I feel like you'd be, yeah, you want, you could be snacking those up. I need they to gross, be. They're when you open the bag sometimes, you get that waft of. Oh, well, you get the bag. Hard-boiled egg. What, do you get just the saying, bag at the gas station? Saying, when I have, you get that big waft of it. But a fresh one, you're not really, it doesn't really smell like that. Do you do this? Kelly told me she puts the, uh, the hard-boiled egg in the cold water as soon as it comes out. Yeah, I'll do that just to just to speed up the process, so I can just crack it and. Well, apparently it makes the shell come off easier too. Oh, does it? Yeah, yeah. that's what they say. I'm not buying that that know. jazz, dude. I saw some <sighs> on TikTok where a lady blew into it and uh, blew the like blew the egg out. Sometimes you, there's a little contraption thing that you put it in and it like <laughs> sucks it out like that and like <laughs> makes a hole and it shoots it right out that's somehow. Nuts. It does uh, do that in some weird way, but plant an egg. You just gotta peel them. You gotta be gentle. Use your nails and just uh, pluck away at that shell. I put them right in the June oven. How I've been doing it. That's now. how I do it too. They're perfect. It's just hard boil, air fry. Yeah, it's good. But boiled eggs, like air fried on the rack and yeah, the shell. Yeah, yeah. That's the way to do it. Oh yeah. Um. What else you got? What uh? Dude, How was the trip? so the Kalamazoo Kane Independent was just a little warm-up for what I accomplished uh, la- on Wednesday, dude. Oh, lay it on me. Yeah, you got me anxious <laughs> over here. I feel like a kid on his first date. That was, what you got for that me? Was a was... cakewalk compared to what I put in front of myself on Wednesday, dude. Airport through security. To the Delta Lounge, white cane only, no help, no um assistance. Shut the fuck up. Went for it. Shut the fuck up. You're lying. I went for it. <laughs> You're lying. How? Big B, <laughs> stepdad, <laughs> drives me to the airport. <laughs> Dro- I said, take me. Normally, I go all the way to the end. Take me all the way to the end. That's where the assistant gate. I said, I'm not doing it. What? I got- I got three hours to my flight. I'm going solo, baby. Oh, my God. I got three hours. I'm going to make it. I'm going to use Be My Eyes if I have to. Whatever I have to do to get to that gate. Because the the assistants, or as they call in the airport, prospect. That's what they call it. Prospect. Um... Takes... I'm waiting there for two hours, two and a half hours just to get assistance sometimes. Really? And at that point, you're taking out of my Delta Lounge time, baby. Yeah, you are. You're taking out of my Delta my Lounge food. time. So I, I figure if cookies. it takes me an hour to get to the Delta Lounge, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm up. Yeah, I'm having more time. Oh, so you're still ahead? Yeah, I'm still ahead. So I'm, I'm, I'm right mentally, way. I'm preparing myself. I'm like, all right, just, uh, just you're gonna be fine. We're gonna make it through, baby. When did get- you make the decision? Was it the night before? Was it the night before? Week? Yeah, night oh. before. I'm like, I think I'm I'm gonna send it because I've had this thought at least the I've last. I've heard 10 you times talk ago. about it. <laughs> yeah, like, I want to just try. I should do it. This I did is it, baby. I'm, so, <laughs> I'm impressed over here. I got a big B drops me off. I'm like, take me to the closest door to security, which I believe is like number four or five or something like that at DTW. 
Detroit, baby. Delta. That's it's I get not out. a tiny airport either. That's a big airport. It's a big international airport, baby. It's a Delta hub. It's a big airport. There are three Delta lounges within. I think there might be four actually. Four Delta lounges within this airport alone. But I know from my past. You can, once you go down security, if you go to security upstairs, you go down the escalator, and the Delta Lounge is, um, you go straight, and then it tees left and right, and there's all gates like 40 through 80 to the right, and then 40 through zero to the left. Wait, wait, so you're already through security? security? Not yet, no, I'm oh, just okay. trying to lay this out. Okay, but okay. I know that you go to that T, and it's on like the corner on the left side is the main Delta Lounge. Okay, all right, so you so got have, you have a map in your head. like I have route. a map of once I get to the escalator, I go down, and I have to go left. I have to kind of shoreline left, and that Delta Club is like on the corner, it's like the corner is cut off. It's like flat and it's sliding doors. So and this is what I'm thinking in my head, right? I'm going to find this this Delta Lounge. And you can smell the – all the Delta Lounge have like that white tea patchouli something smell. You can smell it like – Yeah, they no, you know, no, they all have that 50 uh, the feet perfume, from the lounge. Yeah, you know the what I mean? Perfume, yep. But it's a wide, you know. This it's an airport, so it's wide. I, I can, you could be veering all over the place. That's get, the problem. There's nooks, could, there's nooks and crannies. There's, there's nooks, crannies. There's all kinds of my stores. My grandmother might be lurking. Like it's. <laughs> <laughs> you could be going left and up, going backwards. So, Brian drops me off. He's like, "All right, you're gonna want to go in, and security's gonna be a little bit to the right. You're kind of in between. Security's in between the two doors." Strap on my backpack, baby. <laughs> Whip out the cane. Ready to go, dude. So you check a bag. Are you checking a bag? Not checking a bag. Right. I'm ready. I got my boarding pass on my phone. My ID's on my wallet, in my pocket, ready to give oh, TSA. My. Let's go, dude. <laughs> so I go in into the airport. I walk in. I got to kind of shoreline, find my door from outside. That takes a little second. They're sliding doors, so I hear it open up. Hot heat, hot heat's blowing. Walk in. I kind of go right a little bit. It's all carpet, and the carpet turns to smooth tile. I know I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Um, I'm in the. Uh, what is that called? Like ticketing zone, right? Security somewhere around me. I start just cane prodding around, <laughs> making my way. Cow prodding. I, I find my first first. <laughs> person who's like you need help i'm like he's looking for security he's like yeah go left a little bit it was way further than i thought uh, from you the door. Missed, yeah you miss uh much further um in than i thought i thought it was like you i know, hate that when you think feet. you know yeah so i'm going I'm like all right we're going we're cruising we're cruising go along i find the make my way to the beginning of the um the little zigzaggy freaking the beginning of security what are those little things called they're like you got a zigzag through them they herd you through like cattle oh uh, yeah the uh the, they're like little pillars and yeah, then you can like the clip them on and i like know they, uh, the 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 i don't know what they're it's almost like a velvet rope at a, uh the the vinyl <laughs> shit it's vinyl yeah. it's uh whatever <laughs> yeah they're like a velvet shit. rope at a to get into it if you know VIP call club. in what? If you know the answer, call in. Yeah, call in. Let us know. So, you know, the beginning of that, and um, the lady looks at my uh, ID. This is where I was really banking on them taking me to the left of the, like, there's like a wheelchair section or accessible section where you can skip yes. all the zigzag. Yes. It'll take you straight in. I haven't seen those in a while, though. I've been pissed. Every time I'm, I'm usually 90% of the time when I'm with Heather, they send us that way. Boom, I'm in. She yeah. did not send me in, dude. She sent me in with the rest of the with peasants. The sharks. So I'm going, and I hate these zigzag things. But you just got to like trail with your hand and then find it to the end. It's kind of the method I, that I developed. Yeah. But I start going down the zigzag thing. What are they and called? my little, an angel with jeans and sandals. Oh, I can't remember his name. Damn it. <laughs> my buddy, dude. My, my buddy, buddy, he's like, hey, you need some help? I'm walking. You want to just follow me if I'm in. All right, cool. Right on. I'm following behind him. Then you take my shoulder if you want. Nah, I'm all right. I'm cruising. I'm cruising. He's like, 
just keep going, keep going, and I'm just zigzagging my way through and uh, get right up to TSA. He kind of goes first. He's a little way. I had to wait maybe like 10 minutes uh, in the actual the actual line to show my ID. And all this is done by myself. Usually I'm with assistant, so like just hand the guy my uh, phone. Did he take my phone? Yeah, scan my phone, which I hate handing, giving my phone to somebody. I do not enjoy that. Uh, that giving that up. You know what I mean? Like I'm just giving this guy yeah, my phone. Yeah, like here, he take my like, phone. He could just do whatever he wants. He go well, to my you cash could, app. You could just, all, normally, if you could see though, people just sometimes will scan it. You themselves. just scan it, yeah. Right. So I don't like that. But he takes it, scans it, checks my ID, pop that back in my wallet, and uh, I still got my little angel in blue jeans and sandals. <laughs> he's like, he's oh, like, he's still there. He's like, he would, what? He's still there on your shoulder. <laughs> he's still hanging out, which I think he had sandals because I kept hearing him flip flopping. <laughs> And he said he was going to uh, Barbados. Oh, he's definitely in sandals. And get this. Well, first he's like, "Man, you think they would they would like have assistance and stuff for you?" I was like, "Well, <laughs> they normally do." But I'm I, I told myself today I'm I'm just gonna send it today. I'm gonna go. Oh, nice. <laughs> but then like ten minutes passed, he said it again. Like, man, you think usually they would have like assistance? I was like, no, they usually do. But it's like. I usually wait, like, sometimes I have to wait two and a half hours for people. It's like, oh, okay, okay, I see. <laughs> and he's, I was like, where are you going? He's like, Barbados. I was like, oh, cool. He's like, he said, I'm supposed to be getting married, but that girl sucks. What? So he got, they. she must have called off the wedding. Oh, so he's going solo. No. Dirk Bentley style. I'm getting drunk on a plane. Oh, <laughs> Oh, so he this was, guy was, oh, no. Yeah, I was like, oh, man, I'm sorry, dude. That's that such is... a bummer. And he's like, it's all right, man. And uh, we go. And you this know is where it's it not, gets, though. You know it's not. This is where it gets really nerve-wracking by yourself is putting my stuff in the bin, knowing when to scoot up. I hate um, that. And then, it, this is the nerve-wracking part, yeah. You ever get this? I get the, the, the freaking... Travelers that are in such a rush, they probably missed their flight yep, twenty minutes. I'm worried ago. about that. And people will be no, me. they're literally. I'm like, I get my tray after it goes through. I'm putting on, getting all my stuff out of it. People are pushing my tray. Pushing, over. they push and the like, tray. That's like, that is like, a common. Is this real? That's common. They just push the tray. If you're slow I'm, and if you're going I'm slow, like, they're yo, pushing your shit along. Geez. Yeah. But I got my angel with blue jean sandals blue on. Blue jean angel. And he's uh, blue so I jean, my baby. stuff. He's like, I got you a bin. He's like, I got you a bin right there. I was like, thanks, man. Get the bin. He's like, I was like, I'm actually heading. He's like, can you help to the gate? He's like, no, I'm, I'm just making my way to the lounge. He's like, oh, I'm actually going to the lounge too. No oh, way. Is he, is he flying Delta? He is, yeah. This is the, uh, this is, I think there's only Delta in the, this is oh, the Delta true. terminal. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he's like, oh, I'm going to the lounge too, actually. I was like, Oh, sweet. I'm just going to the main one. I don't know if you're going to that one. He's like, there's more than one? I'm like, yeah. But we go get through security. Uh, I can't really remember. I think just the guy was there to help me go through the uh, little zippy zapper thing. Yeah, yeah. Which I, this time I brought my cane with me up to the really? x-ray thing. Handed them Hand the cane. Through. They took it to run it through. I did the little zip zip thing, arms up. Spread your feet is always weird because there's yellow footprints that you're supposed I to put your feet I don't do that. Down. I go through the metal detector. I prefer the metal detector. A lot of, sometimes if I'm being a dick, I'll be like, no, I'm just going metal detector. Yeah. But I was like, I'm just trying to get through. I'm trying to get to the lounge so I can yeah, get my breakfast to get, yeah. and my coffee <laughs> and enjoy the lounge, baby, and enjoy some sweet music. And uh, so I go through. They get my cane, blah, blah, blah. My, Angel with blue jeans and sandals is right there. He takes me down the escalator. And we go up the escalator. He's like, man, I, this is, uh, it makes me uh, think uh, how grateful I am. Thanks, man. Oh. And he said that to me. Oh, shit. So I think I gave him some perspective Damn. on. You gave him. <laughs> you helped him that day more than he helped you. I think a little bit. Dude, dude. he was hurting. He was down. He, he was, was hurting, and then he, he was, was thinking, "Man, bro, my heart's broken." But he's like, fuck, at least "What like, if I fucking was blind?" He's like, dude. "At least I got my fucking eyes." He's like, "I got it." He said something like, "I got it. I got it easier." Something like that. Because a heart can heal. <laughs> a heart can heal. Your blindness cannot. <laughs> That's right. 
But then it was smooth sailing, dude. Then I, he goes down to the lounge. He checks a walk down to the, uh, which I was actually kind of looking forward to. Um, I almost wanted to ditch my little angel. And let, I and know you want the alone time. <laughs> it had been, it was, it's too easy for me yes. at this point. With well, the breakfast in Kalamazoo, uh, I had my lady, I got the angel with blue jeans and sandals. Was he giving you the food too? Was he giving you the food? No, no, no. So I know when I made it to the lounge, uh, we split ways. He oh, called his right. I was like, thanks for your help, man. I appreciate Thank it. Like, I, enjoy your trip. That would have sucked if you had to sit with him. Oh, yeah. I wasn't oh. doing that. But Because um, that then you're spending more energy trying to. Like, it's a lot. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. want I'm not trying to do that. Yeah. I broke his. I need help. I was like, no, but I'll have him. They'll help me out in here. I got it from here. I appreciate it. Hit, I check in, scan my thing. Welcome back. Can I get some assistance with some food? Of course. Let me uh, get someone. Get the lady to well, walk me up. She's like, what can I get you? They bring me freaking sausage, egg. The breakfast was on point, dude. Sausage patties, little cheese omelets. Um, Ooh, love a good cheese. I got a, uh, my little cappuccino freaking, what is it called? The latte with the foam milk with a little caramel spritz in there. What? They were coming up to me every five minutes. Can I get you more? I, t- I had said, sure, let me get some more sausage. Oh I had two rounds of sausage. God, two full. rounds of eggs. I was making calls. I was oh. catching up. <laughs> it was, at one point, my angel of the angel of blue jeans and sandals came back up. He's like, you need anything? I was like, they got me, dude. I'm, cr- I'm chilling. He's Thank over you. there like, can I come sit with my boy and get the same <laughs> treatment? I had, I, don't nice have a little, I had one of the nice little cubbies. It's like a padded seat, and there's like walls on each side, and you have a little table. So my People are going to start getting the wrong message. And they're like, hey, the lady comes, takes your order, then this, she's walking by, and someone's like, hey, can I get a uh, glass of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. They were on. I had a guy, a foreign guy, helping me, and a lady coming back. The lady was getting me coffee, the guy was getting me food. Oh, man. Oh, but get this. They gave me a. This is the first time I had this. When I checked in, they gave me a little thing about the size of uh, half the size of an iPhone. little flat, rectangular disc thing. She said, this is going to beep when, they, uh, when someone's looking for you to, to help find you. What? Have you had that? No, and I'm like, dude. What? She's like, there's a little button on the side that's going to turn the beep off if it gets annoying. So, of course, I put it in my pocket, instantly started hitting that button. <laughs> I don't want this thing beeping out loud. I was nervous about that. I don't know when this thing was going to go off. Oh, you're just anxiety hitting the button in your pocket. <laughs> I was hitting, I was like, I don't want this thing fucking going off, bothering everybody next to me. That's strange. But it ended up not going off. They come get me like 10 minutes before my flight. Thing did not beep. She just took it out of my hands. I don't know if I turned it off or if I didn't. Um, but that was cool that they actually were thinking of that. Um, Real quick, I, w- I just want to stop you because I thought of this when you were talking earlier too, and and you brought it back up. A buffet, I think it's like a fucking nightmare, dude. Oh, I can't do a buffet solo. Oh, because you have to it, open everything, touch everything. And you you gotta, do I, I, dude, I've. I've been stuck in a buffet by myself in my life. I've legit tried to like waft the smells over to my yeah, nose. It's too, yeah, it's too much, and then you, you end up getting like some fucking liverwurst and and <laughs> cow shit. <It's> freaking liver <laughs> and onions, dude. It's no good. You, oh. Your buffet is not a not a good oh, good thing to do. No, dude. it's it's an anxiety ridden thing, and yeah. then for me, I can't hold a. F- freaking plate level to save my eight like oh yeah you're spilling your, your breakfast sauces are rolling dude, off rolling off and the soup is spilling the the tea i lost all my grapes the, and the hot chocolates on my shirt yeah dude buffet's no bueno no bueno i was but, um, i was walking across the street yesterday and uh same thing when i was getting my hot chocolate when i told you all about all this stuff uh-huh. i'm crossing the street there's some guy in the street all of a sudden just looks at me and goes you could see right i'm like <laughs> I, was, I was like no nah. and he's like all right all right i got you then and like told me when to go and he's like, wait there's a car there like a parked car i'm like dude I- i'll find him with my kid he comes over Grabs my shoulder unexpectedly uh, grab. and does the old uh, like maneuver you around. And then yeah, once yeah, he got yeah. me to the sidewalk, he was like, 
all right, he's good enough. And like dipped out. So <laughs> <laughs> like I did my good deed for the day. You can see, right? He, that was his way of asking, are you blind? I think I, was his way. I, I know. It was so good. <laughs> it was <laughs> so good. Sorry. But, but, um, you can get to the plane. No, that was it pretty much, dude. They were freaking on point. Delta Lounge was, I mean, the Delta difference. Did you get upgraded? They nailed it. They killed it. Only thing Prospect that would, came. Only my boy thing, Anthony, who I've seen like. At least five times. Who actually works for the? Uh, Don't you the love process. when you see the same people at the airport? Like, oh, oh, what's up, man? I, I've had you. For, I was like, oh, how you doing, dude? Me and Kelly and, got it now. Where they're like, oh, we haven't seen you in a minute. Like, yeah, what's yeah, up? Yeah, I had it going into security too. I had that same thing. Oh, I, welcome back. You, you fly a lot. Nice yeah, to see you. Doing? <laughs> it's cool when you got like good. the people in the airport. And then I had my dude Ant- Anthony come through and. Uh, uh, he had Venmo, which was good. I didn't have cash. I fucking never have cash. But I was able to Venmo him uh, a little uh, tippy tip. That was cool. What, which I hate. Help? The prospect stuff, the assistance to the airport. What's prospect? It's just that's the, what they call the the assistant. Sorry. The, uh, who uh, helps. You get on the plane or whatever. Services people that who need assistance in the airport. Go to the gates and stuff. But a lot of times they'll do like a person who takes you from... Um, takes you through security, and then it'll be a different person who takes you onto the plane, and then it'll be one person who takes you down to the baggage claim, and a different person who takes you to the curb. You can't do that because I'm trying to. I can only I'm only tip in one person. Yeah, how can we build a? I'm relationship? I'm not tipping each one of these people freaking five ten bucks a person. Yeah, I'm trying to build a relationship. It's like you freaking. It's annoying. I hate that. So, but grab my arm and then leave me, and then you're gone. But I um, it was fucking. It was an epic. It was an epic day of travel. You ever do solo? Dude, and I'm, then you know, I had impressed. to land. I had to get the Uber all solo. I didn't have anybody with me in Florida. Wow, Uber um, solo to the hotel. Prospect Uber to the hotel. Check into the hotel, which I've been there before. The Staybridge Love Suites. that hotel. They were on point. I'll get into that. Great breakfast spread. Great dude. Oh, Great. I'll get into all that next uh, yeah, next, next episode. But that's uh. Oh, that good, that's dude. a good one, dude. I'm surprised. I'm proud of the cane travel. Yeah, no one am. Been, uh... I have a, little, a lot of, and it really, you know, what it made me really feel after I got on the plane. I was like, man, being blind, a positive thing is, and traveling solo is. Yes, I get to meet all these cool people. That dude was a freaking sweetheart who helped me. You um, do. You meet these people, and you're like everyone who helped was just awesome. And like, I got to actually talk with people and engage with people, and I felt good about it. You know what I mean? I was like, I got to meet new people and feel good about just and, people in general. And you the learn, kindness you learn that still about, exists in the world. Yes, and you learn about them, and it's like it's just it's a feeling of success and like meaning. Like you need these interactions in your life, like you social, do. like it's good socialization because we get in our uh, we get in our heads. Our little groups. I yeah. felt so much better. Normally, I'm sitting there waiting for assistance, and it's time's freaking going and, by slow. I'm pissed off. And you're like, in the same annoying. cycle. I should be doing this. You feel the I'm same. Over it. You feel the same feelings every time. You're like pissed. Like yep. you said, pissed off over it. I want to do it myself. And you did it. And I did it. You and did. I felt. And the end of the day, I was like, that was the way to do it. Oh, it's so good. And it's like, you don't have to do it every time, but now you know you can. Mm -hmm. That's one of the best parts. Hallelujah. I just, I love it. Uh, (laughs) Yeah, sorry. All I got for you over here is freaking green boogers and poop and water. Four bad eyes, dude. Uh, Eyes and ears. Like and are subscribe. We at, is that, are we at time? I don't even know where we're at. I think we are. All right, sweet. Yeah, we um, are. yeah I'll continue That's my sweet. adventures of in Florida, the contest, and all of that next episode. And, yeah, and hopefully I'll have some more for you. Um, yeah, is there, when you go to, when do you go to Italy? Uh, the first. The first? Oh, so we got yeah. not this week, but next week or something like that. And the next, I don't know. I got to okay. figure it out. But uh, yeah, it's like the last hoorah. But um, uh, more on that later. And yeah, I gotta then, go sign, give my sign my house away, dude. Dude, oh, update on the house. It's house is sold. It. I'm just literally signing it away. Got to be out in sixty days. I have one house that uh, we're working towards getting. Should be good. Um, 
dope crib. So that's kind of the update right now. I'm currently just packing everything up. It just sucks, but if there's anyone, mess, uh, if we're looking for a um, someone who can build an underground rave uh, rave station, oh, uh, underground yeah. rave. Yeah, we have underground raves on Dan's new property. Um, <laughs> no, I got, the property I'm looking at. I already talked to the city. They approved a 5,000 square foot pole barn. Just got to get the house. Do you know and, who's uh, going to build that pole barn yet? What? Do you know who's going to build that pole barn? No, yet? I don't have the funds. So if, I have if the there's funds anyone out big... there that wants to mm-hmm. donate their services to the Keep Pushing Park. Please. Because um, I have the funds for the concrete. So we'll be able to pour the concrete and Michigan, get a lot of ramps in there. But I need the pole barns, the big one. Like, they need like 90000 I think, to have it like fully built and put up. Weather, you got to get a yeah. crane for the... The tall ceilings. There's and anyone stuff. that has those that equipment, those resources. <laughs> Anybody owns out. a construction company, let me know. Yes, no. Uh, and, Hit me uh, up, Dan at four bad eyes dot com. Yep. And uh send any questions in, like like and subscribe. Thank you. The numbers have been going up. So Yay! thank you, eyes and ears. Um tell your friends and tell your family's friends and let us know if the sound was any better on this one with the zoom because uh, I think we figured something out for Dan's side. Um and yeah, like, subscribe, Sweet. tell your tell your uh tell your world. Tell your cousins, your brothers, all of your crippled friends, yeah. your blind folks. Yeah, all right. Um love you. Um keep pushing. One love. Keep pushing. And one love from four bad eyes.